Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is still TVC News at 4. In other news, United States Consulate in partnership with Child Solidarity Group and Edima Health Initiative has trained about 40 journalists across Nigeria on mental health. The spokesperson of the U.S. mission to Nigeria, Gilbert Morton, says this will build the capacity of journalists on how to report suicide and trauma-related offenses. We have details in this report. For a country like Nigeria, mental illness is not uncommon, nor is trauma or suicide, but the level of acceptance and treatment remains low. According to a report, one in four Nigerians suffers from mental illness, and some of the causes include drug abuse, social isolation, and childhood abuse, among others. To sensitize journalists on reporting suicidal and trauma cases, two NGOs, in partnership with the United States Consulate, say media professionals should maintain accuracy and fairness while reporting. Uh, press freedom, being professional, responsive, and independent. Uh, these are really the critical elements when you think about what you're doing as a journalist as part of the media here in Nigeria. That's so important for the country and for the structure of your society. Going forward, um, we'll begin to see how um, safe reporting can um, help protect children, which is what we want. And we'll begin to see how um, that nexus that we have been able to establish by being part of this training um, advance and spotlight the issues affecting children basically. What we are trying to achieve here is to leverage the expertise of media professionals in trying to get them to learn how to report mental health issues without promoting stigma, learn how to be sensitive in interviewing survivors of suicide, survivors of trauma and violence like women and children who have experienced sexual and gender based violence. One of the focal points for this journalist is to create a work life balance to avoid break down and illnesses. You know, as a journalist, you know, every day we are interfacing with the news, the good, bad, ugly, and more often than not, we're always talking about the bad news. So one of the things that I'm going to be taking home with me is to ensure that I practice the, the, the learnings I've had here to keep my head space in a safe space. Yes, I want to maintain objectivity and all of that, but I have to be fine to be able to, you know, do the work well. As journalism evolves, these professionals advise on learning new and creative ways of reporting sensitive cases to avoid triggering traumatic events of the survivors. In Niolua, Kukola, TVC News, Lagos.